All right, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2007 Honda Civic Si. Up front is a 2.0 liter inline four and down below is a six speed manual transmission. Now, I'm super excited to be driving this Honda Civic Si and the reason for that is because this was the Civic Si I grew up with. You know, this was sort of my coming of age Honda Civic Si. When this car came out, I was 10 years old. I was just figuring out what cars were. And so this was the cool car. This was the cool Honda at the time where I learned about cars. And so I'm very excited to be driving one, finally. I've never driven an SI of this generation. But let's get back to that 2.0 liter inline four. Well, it is a K20 Z3, makes 197 horsepower, 139 foot-pounds of torque. The torque won't really shock anyone, and the horsepower isn't insane, but it's zippy and you gotta love a K20. The world loves K20s, and boy, I do as well. All right, so second gear. You really hear the VTEC kick in. Now, I'm no scientist, I'm not good at explaining VTEC, but basically it uses oil pressure to engage a bigger cam profile that raises the valves higher to then give you more power, blah, 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 blah. It's a lot of weird stuff, but this is a VTEC motor, the K20 Z3. So if you want VTEC, here it is. Like I said, paired to it is a six speed manual transmission. Now the Civic SI only came with a six speed manual. There was no automatic SIs. And so if you see an SI out in public, you know that that is a stick shift vehicle. I like the feeling of it. Like I always, always say, Honda has very good shifting feel. Putting it into gear feels solid. I know what gear I'm in without even looking. And the clutch pedal grabs so close to the floor. This is the most grabby pedal clutch. I barely have to lift my foot off the pedal and it is engaging the clutch, which is really, really nice. Nice and smooth into it. I mean, not a worry in the world. Last but not least, of course, the Civic is front wheel drive, but the Civic Si did get a limited slip differential up front, which is very, very nice, especially for a front wheel drive vehicle. So let's talk about the interior. We have a couple interesting bits to talk about. Well, in front of me, I actually have two separate gauge pods, if you will. Right in front of me, I have my tachometer that says Si in it. It's red, it's sort of, you know, looks cool i have my odometer and my trip odometer as well and then up above that further up on the dash i have my coolant temperature miles per hour and digits and fuel so i sort of like this this is very much like a spaceship multiple readout sort of thing it's very reminiscent of a similar year s2000 which is very very nice i love s2000s one thing the owner mark did point out to me that i i just remembered is the headlights on warning chime sounds like something from like the 80s like japanese like ae86s or a 180sx like the speed chime um, in japanese cars kind of sounds like that that's if you leave your headlights on that's the chime that plays moving on to the steering wheel the steering wheel looks very, very modern. This car is 13 years old, and honestly, it looks like this steering wheel was made yesterday. I absolutely love that. On the steering wheel on the right, I have my cruise control options, and on the left, I have my volume, channel, and mode options for the radio. I really, really like that. Very clean, very simple, and easy to use. To the left of me, I have my set mile per hour and gauge dimmer switches. And then on the door, I have my power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. Nothing really too interesting there. Although on the door, I do have this sort of suede with stitching on it. And that carries throughout the rest of the interior. It's this very nice sort of suede looking material that adds this little extra emphasis to the Civic Si. Reminds you that you're driving something a little bit more special than a base model or hybrid Civic of the same year. Then moving into the center, I do have my radio. Of course, this is before the era of touch screens, so it's pretty typical Honda radio. However, like I mentioned with the door trim, the Civic Si did get an upgraded radio, so it has a more premium sound than you would find in a base model or hybrid. 
But that being said, I have AM, FM, CD, and I do have aux inputs, which is really, really nice. And then I have my radio memory, my favorites, scan, tune, all those sorts of things. And then I have my air conditioning controls. Again, very basic here. Nothing really too crazy, nothing to see here. It's very clean and simple, and I like it a lot. Then we have two cubby holes, one under the air conditioning controls, and then one in front of the shifter. They're very large. They are good for a lot of storage. I absolutely love it. There's you know tons and tons of storage here in the Civic Si. Then we move on to the shifter. Like I said, the shifter feels great. It's finished in that same sort of material you'll find throughout the rest of the car. It looks very classy, looks nice, looks upgraded again over a base model you keep getting reminded that you know you paid that extra money so you got the nicer features but then next to it is the handbrake and the handbrake is shaped very very interestingly and by interestingly i mean weird it works like a regular handbrake you pull it out and fine but it's it's just shaped in such a weird way down below the interesting handbrake and shifter i do have just two cup holders and the center console finished in that same sort of suede material that is found on the doors. Now the seats are nice and comfortable. They do have pretty high bolsters. They are a lot sportier of seats and I really like it. And as you guys know, I'm a big guy and I fit in here perfectly. I don't feel uncomfortable by the bolsters. I'm not getting squished. I really, really like it. But speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2007 Honda Civic SI sedan and room back here is actually pretty good. This is my driving position. My knees barely touch the front seat. If I had just spread them out a little bit, my legs don't touch. Headroom, I got probably half an inch to an inch of space up above my head. Um, I'm 5'11", so most of your friends, most of your family will probably be all right unless you're like a really tall family. I do have a center console which is finished in this nice sort of suede as well. The seats have the outside is the nice sort of suede stuff. It, it, it's very nice back here for, you know, the Civic is an economy car. This is the non-economy version of it. This is, you know, the nicer package. But at its genesis, at its core, Honda Civics are basic, basic, baseline cars and so they didn't make this car any longer or bigger just for the performance version this is a regular 07 civic back seat and it's really really good so even if you're not buying an si just the regular back seat is pretty dang good before we talk about the looks i do have a sunroof this was part of the si package the si's got the sunroof si's got nicer things but the sunroof definitely is one of those nicer perks now we gotta talk about the looks i don't think this car looks stunningly amazing. I don't think it's gorgeous. I don't think I'd have a poster of it on my wall. However, I think it looks good. I think it looks reserved. I think it looks modern. And that's all I can ask for from a Civic like this. I really like the look of it. I think it's a good looking Civic. And obviously, like I stated at the beginning of the video, this is my favorite generation of Honda Civic. Now we have a couple things to talk about before I end out this video. First of all, I love the power. You know, it's under 200 horsepower, but it's still, it's so spry. And that VTEC, there, that's where the VTEC is. It is a nice jump in power. Now, would I say that VTEC is the greatest invention in the world? No, but it does offer a nice little, just a nice little zing. It's like instead of putting mayo on your sandwich, you put chipotle mayo. It just offers that nice little extra thing that you go, oh, okay, I like that. And going off of that, really, this is probably one of the best cars you can get into as a car enthusiast. If you wanna be a car enthusiast, you wanna get into cars, you don't know what you really want, but you just wanna drive something, get a Honda Civic Si. Get this generation, the eighth generation Honda Civic Si. Couple reasons for that. First of all, these are really coming down in price. Like I said, growing up, these were brand new, but now you can pick these up for pretty cheap. So you're not going to spend your entire life savings to get into the car enthusiast world. Similarly, they're very easy to maintain and very low maintenance. This car has 173,000 miles on it, 173,000 miles. And all the owner has done was an AC compressor, so he has ice cold AC, and a starter motor. That's it, that's all he's done. That's all that's had to be done to this car to keep it working as it should for 173,000 miles. 
that's nothing. That's nothing at all. And honestly, once you drive one of these, they're just fun to drive. It's fun to row through the gears. No, I'm not gonna blow the doors off of a GTR if he lines up next to me. But this is a fun car that I can daily, it's a fun car that I can drive some spirited back roads, that limited slip diff really pulls out of corners, it handles well, it's reliable, it's trustworthy. I don't know what else you would want out of an enthusiast car like this. I, I just don't know. What else could you possibly want? Oh, the other thing is that this is not the coupe, this is the four door. Get the four door, please, please, please get the four door. Anything after the EK should be a four door. The EK Civics, I could do the coupes, they're fine, but if you're gonna drive it every day, get a four door. If it's going to be your one practical car, get the four door. Four doors look better, they're more practical, you can live with them easier. It's just all around, it's a win, 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 win. Well, I wanna give a huge thank you to Mark for letting me review his 2007 Honda Civic SI. This thing is awesome. And I'm really glad that this car lived up to the hype. This is one of the best first cars you can buy if you wanna be an enthusiast, if you wanna get into automotive culture, get a Honda Civic SI. I mean, really, that's at the end of the day, this is your ticket into the car world. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.